Yo, what is good, YouTuber? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to win consistently in clutch time online here in NBA 2K24, my team. I already have like 51 wins this season in clutch online. Got myself Cliff um, Robinson last night or the night before, actually, I think. Um, and he is an amazing card. Really, really good card. This is a mode that a lot of people are playing this season and for good reason. Cliff Robinson is legitimately a top five big man in the game. A guy who 100% is worth grinding for. And it's one of the modes you got to complete for SGA, of course, as well. A lot of people are playing clutch online and I know why. So uh, I want to give you all good tips on how to win. I am probably, I don't know, 51 and 8, 9, 10 this season, something like that. Like, I don't have a perfect win percentage. I don't take this mode nearly as seriously as something like Unlimited. That's it's okay but i win the majority of my games i don't struggle to complete these types of things and um i think you can do that without having the best team in the game that's what i'm here to show y'all it's like if you play smart make the right decisions don't give up wide open shots just play safe smart defense especially with the way the game is played now um you're gonna have a lot of success and you will be able to win the majority of your games the gameplay has been kind of cruised i feel like my 2k over the past couple patches still over the last week especially a couple few days ago whatever happened thursday friday that patch just cruise to the game the delay the shooting it's all kind of junk right now so hoping it kind of gets improved because right now it's a little bit of a disaster but with that being said uh we still got to grind out content for y'all man so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already help me push towards 14k we're like 60 subscribers away trying to hit that really soon without further ado let's talk about the team first and foremost i'm going with in here with a budget team right now got donna mitchell he's the pro pass card a lot of people have him you could replace him with the Dwayne wade or kyrie irving or any of those other grindable point cards free point cards that you might already have there are a lot of options and you should have a couple of them at least Dominique Wilkins gonna come in at the two. I got him in the D Wade grind free card, really, really good. Robert Covington is 7,000 MT. Cliff Robinson is the clutch time reward. I'll use him. I don't have Serge Ibaka. If I had Serge Ibaka, I'd use him instead. He's a little more of like the viable type card, but there are other cards you could use at center as well, of course. And I'm gonna use Bosch at power forward, give myself a top tier power forward. I could use it, but obviously, there are a lot of other options you could use at these types of positions as well. Um, you only need a five man lineup, and you can throw in a lot of budget and free players in a lot of positions. So you only have to pay for one or two positions on your squad, really. Uh, and even then, then there's a lot of budget options. A guy like Joe Smith at Power Forward is going to be an amazing option as a cheap card. I just don't have him right now, and I'm not spending the 56K to add it to my collection, so I'm just going to use who I have. Uh, but this is the team we got. I think this is a really attainable type of team for a lot of people. Really not that hard of a squad to attain. I mean, Bosch is hard to attain for a lot of people, but... Um yeah, I mean, I don't think you need the best team in the game to win the majority of your games in Clutch Online. You don't have to win every game. You just have to not lose three in a row because that'll reset you a tier, basically. But uh, generally speaking, I don't think this mode is all that hard. The most important thing is honestly your settings. I have a defensive settings video up on my channel. Switching matchups as well can be pretty important. I'm not actually, I don't think, going to switch matchups too much this game. I'm going to put Dominique there and I'm going to put Robert Covington on B-Roy just to switch my... Um, my on-ball defender onto the better shot creator of the two and the three, but I'm going to leave D-Mitch on D-Wade. He's got Bosch and AD as well, so we match up against a really good squad. Make sure I put my freelance on so I have good spacing. Put that five out on, and like I said, yeah, B-Roy, Dwayne Wade, uh, Kawhi Leonard, Chris Bosch, Anthony Davis. That's like a super sweaty, competitive type of squad, so you're not going to match up against super sweaty, competitive type of teams every game. I'd say you match a really good team in Clutch Online one out, of, one out of every like three or four games, but I don't, I think we can win this game 100%. We don't have the same quite caliber of team i have a very good team as well of course but don't think it's quite as good caliber but donovan mitchell is super fast i love this card as a slasher i love having spacing on the court obviously if you have wilt shack guys like that a tim duncan locked in somebody like that feel free to use that inside center and there are a few of those types of guys who are really really good inside centers in my team right now but I like having spacing on the court, man, in these in this in this type of mode, especially something like clutch time. He's gonna reach himself out of the play with Dwayne Wade. He didn't. Wow, that's actually really good patience by him. I threw a bad pass. That's my fault for kind of forcing there, I'll be honest. But get up the sideline here. Hopefully we can recover back down. Uh CPU's jumping, but we're back low, and I'm gonna switch uh Cliff Robinson here. Wall up and Robert coming to a great defense. We just get unlucky that they call a foul. But I don't hate that defense. That's my fault for throwing a bad pass when we got out in transition. I don't you gotta play very patient in clutch time, so. Like I said, first thing is settings, making sure you have your freelance on on offense, and then that defensively you have your settings on and stuff. He does miss one of the free throws, which is nice. And we have our freelance on already, so we're going to go pick and pop here with Chris Bosh, and I just see if we can get downhill again. We're going to get to the rim again. Donovan Mitchell kick it. Oh, I did not want to. I didn't really want to go up there. Um, spacing is, oh, come on. He just throws the ball into Anthony Davis's chest. Not a lot we can do, but good wallet by Cliff Robinson, man. I love this card. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to grind for him, man. He is so dang good in this game. Catch. Uh, let's get a quick screen. But we're also probably going to slip it almost immediately with Chris Robinson. Yep, slip behind. Get into the post here. This is a mismatch, and hopefully we can just put Brandon Roy in the rim. And he tries to strip. 
Not able to get it. Cliff Robinson with the dunk. We tear, or with the layup, I should say. We take a four to one lead. Just taking what's available. Attacking mismatches. Probably don't want to give up very many easy threes. It's kind of hard to shoot threes right now. Just basically don't give up wide opens, and they're, they're going to have a tough time shooting the three ball unless it's a truly elite shooter or elite player right now. I mean, shooting is just tough right now. Robert Covington, man, I love this card because defensively, he's one of the best defensive cards in the entire game as a like emerald, which is so crazy to me. But good defense here. We're just rotating really well. Chris Bosch moving laterally, super solid. Walling up on the interior again. Clicking on, contesting, and just playing amazing defense right now. Not giving up anything easy, and that's really the biggest key. You don't give up anything easy, you're barely going to give up anything at all in this game right now. Just got to play very smart. Don't make too many mistakes. I'm not over-rotating. I'm not playing super aggressively or super overconfidently or anything like that. He overplays, and we take our dunk. Taking what's there, not trying to force the three, not trying to force the four-pointer. Four-pointers feel great when you can make them, but they're tough to shoot right now, especially with the way shooting is. Don't force. Take smart shots, smart plays. Don't give up wide-open threes like that. That is a shot i should have given up the two instead of the three there and i just got lucky that he missed to be honest a little bit flustered but that was probably one of my first big mistakes of this game for sure attacking downhill again with donovan mitchell and yep i know he's going back up top with ad because he doesn't want to give me the wide open pop d mitch is an elite slasher and i'm telling y'all man there is no better place to put ten dollars in this game if you do want to spend money on the game than the pro pass because donovan mitchell is a top two or three point guard in all of my team and the rewards that you get are unmatched for that price point as well so i don't know I don't really endorse spending money on the game as much as I do spend a decent amount of money on the game. I mean, I've spent over 300 bucks on the game this year so far, uh, and it probably will be over a thousand by the end of the year, to be completely honest. And I'm aware of that, and that's okay with me. I don't really endorse spending money on the game, though. I think financial responsibility is very important and all that stuff. Stop and pop. Donovan Mitchell is hoping right now, and I missed. No. I'm telling y'all with the delay and the way they. Sh I just struggle to shoot recently. I don't know why. The last few days. I'm not sure if it's mainly just me sucking. Maybe I need to adjust more, but again, we're not giving up anything easy. We switched there. Donovan Mitchell is a pretty competitive defender. I mean, I know he's only 6'1", but 6'10 wingspan. Hopefully, he can compete against that. Yep, and he's competing against Kawhi. Exactly what I needed him to do. Cuts off the dribble drive. Doesn't give up anything easy. We click on. We wall up, and we're going to click on to the contest. That's, oh, my. There's nothing I can do about that. He just hits a really tough shot. That is not a high percentage shot at all. I'm not going to be mad about it, honestly. I mean, good play. That's, that's all I can really say right now. Uh, dot, oh, I thought I was going to dot him right there. Uh, let's get a little bit of a pick and pop going again here. Uh, attack with Dominique. Dominique mainly is a slasher. You want to make sure you use your personnel. Dominique is an athletic slasher. Get downhill. Get the defender behind us. Go inside and get myself a dunk. That's what we're trying to do, man, is be consistent and make smart moves, smart plays with our team. Use our personnel properly. If you don't have a three-hunting squad, don't three-hunt. If you have a guy like Steph Curry on your team, take advantage of the three-hunting. Run off screens and try to look for your three ball. Did not want to give up that shot. This dude's actually starting to play a little bit better, but catching in the corner, he's a little over closing out, but that's okay. We're going to reset this and we're going to go pick and pop here with Chris Bosch. Uh, I need a really need a ball handle shoe on Dominique if I was going to use him. But again, wide open three. We take the wide open shot. I hit a white. I can't shoot anymore, bro. I just have lost the ability to shoot the last few days. I don't know why, but we hit the white. He hit a white, I think, a second ago, or he scored a second ago. I don't know, but we'll take that white. That's a huge shot right there. Reached, I uh, reached a little bit too early with Cliff Robinson there. Uh, kind of was out of position. They're trying to play for the bait, but we're going to play this bait as well. Yep, now we're rotating back up top, contesting without jumping. Do not jump in this game, especially now. You can get so many easy contests for no reason because the game is kind of broken right now, but do not jump. To a contest unless you are truly desperate to try to get a stop and you need to you like are desperate for the contest otherwise it's just not smart to be jumping for that contest right now donovan mitchell wide open what a move got d wade into the screen knocked down the three and there is our easy clutch time win against a capable opponent with a really good team like i said you can beat these god squads not having the best team in the game i don't have brandon roy i don't have Dwayne wade i mean donovan mitchell is just as good as d wade but uh, i do have chris bosh cliff robinson is a great card but i'm using a 7000 mt uh emerald at small forward and a ruby free card at center like you don't need the best team in the game to compete, especially in a mode like this. It's more important in a mode like Unlimited, but in Clutch Online, it's one quarter and it's five players and it's it's it, man. You can, you don't need the best team. You can build a team for this type of mode so capably just as a no money spent player, which I think is really cool. I don't think you... I think it's very easy for everybody to build a capable team in Clutch Online. It's kind of what I'm saying. If you put just a little bit of time into the game, uh, and then you're going to get rewarded with a lot of good stuff, like I have. I mean, the rewards are actually pretty solid this season. You get two ball drops also per drop per win, I think, after... Um after you get Cliff Robinson. So if you continue playing the mode, you'll get better rewards and more rewards afterwards. So I don't know. It's it's not a bad it's not a bad mode and I kind of enjoy it and I feel like the rewards are actually kind of decent. So 
yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, and that is hopefully some pretty good tips there that will help y'all to succeed and to win the majority of your games in Clutch Online and to be able to complete the mode in a uh, successful time and get, get, Cliff, get Cliff Robinson, get SGA if you're going for him, all that type of stuff. But with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.